Clothes are a tool you use to show other people how you expect to be treated. the suit like this you can't see him grabbing a suit see this is see how nice that fits and he turns oh. around and he says look and he shows you the back and he's grabbing the front right. he says, see how nice that fits <laughs> they always do this the girl put this on me and I said she's trying to sell me the five thousand dollar suit that's what they always do they put the best suit on you in the place first and then the rest of them feel like a bag that's the right size but the wrong color you look like Guido in this <laughs> yeah. Okay, this says, I'm sincere, you can trust me, you can believe me. When you wear it with a white shirt, it doubles that power. So what we want to hear is a shirt that fits about like that. So you can get two fingers in here. And this arm, it's an inch, half an inch short. We want it on that bone right there. So you gotta be able to see this cuff. And you wanna see a half an inch of white back here too. This is uh, right off the turnip truck here. A little bit here and too much here. This is way too much cuff, yeah. Medium break, this is what we're looking for here. You sure? On the navel. Now that I pulled his pants up, they're way too short. These are the type of shoes you're gonna be wearing? Yep, yep. same shoes. Okay. And believe it or not, sometimes one leg's longer than the other. Feel this. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. And these pleats are popping out too, and his pockets are sticking out. That's the other thing. They may be a little droopy in the middle okay. here. That's, that has to be fixed or you look like a hick. To pull this extra fabric up so that it doesn't have that wrinkle there. You're not putting back down. No, that's, that's the way that's supposed to fit. We don't want it to fit like Guido, which is that. See this? Something's not quite right. We're going to see what he says. And I have to like what he says. But I'm going to, I'm going to tell him, we don't care how much it costs. We want it tailored right. so, right, this is too much here. It's not too tight, not too loose, yeah. It doesn't, it's not baggy. That's what we're looking for, okay? Yeah. And the tailor does that. You can't buy them off the rack like that. And we've got a little problem with the way they fit. And you can tell us whether okay. you're going to be able to fix it. Right. I just give him a little more crotch room. You know, it might be the button. I don't like that, but I don't know whether that's fixable. This is too big, but yeah. there's enough to let it out that far? Yeah. Oh, good, okay. Rise back? Yeah, I'll be doing that. Looks a little... Okay. Don't move while he's doing this. Now, this is a phallic symbol in our culture. It's replaced the cod piece. We don't want ever catch any man of steel balls with anything like this. But it's the right hue. This is bad news, bad news. It's not a power tie. It's a little, the, the pattern's a little bit too big. The typical businessman's tie, good. Where's your belly button? There you go. It's just right now. See, this doesn't make a shit here. Yeah, no, I mean, I, what I makes can make a shit a is this comes down to here. Yeah. Okay. That's a Windsor, that's a Windsor, that's a Windsor. Gary's working on it. <laughs> okay, perfect knot is a full Windsor and it has three wrinkles. One, two, three, count them. And if it doesn't have three, you can have two big ones like that. What the woman is interested in, women are interested in symmetry and they want to see this and that. Give me one of the good ones. It changes you from a, a boy to a man instantly. It just puts a pizzazz in your, in your thing. Here's the gig line, the line of his fly, the edge of his belt, and the edge of his shirt. This is the way you lace your shoes, however. See the way these are go straight. Gold pocket scarf for unknown reason, red and blue tie. This is the picture I showed uh, Joanna's 11-year-old cousin. I said, what's wrong with this picture? She said, he has on a brown belt. Black shoes, black socks, black suit. One of these is uh, good for the power suit. That's this one.
These are the shoes that OJ had on uh, and left his footprints. Bruno Mogli, the ugliest shoes on the planet, about $1,200 to $1,500 a pair. The guy that invented these Skechers shoes is a millionaire, making men ugly. He has a gray pinstripe suit and knit socks for unknown reasons, and then he has cordovan shoes, wingtips to go with this outfit. And he paid somebody to do this, David Rickey Company. The suit was $2,300. The shirt was $245, the tie is 115 the quarter inch shoes are $750, his belt is $395, his socks are $35, also available at David Rickey's. Stay away from David Rickey's. And we have a shirt that's way too big for this guy, and uh, the knot is just horrible. It looks like a hangman's noose. The colors are atrocious. I'm just using this to show you the collar and what a good Windsor knot looks like. The shirt is showing from behind his tie. He has a Windsor knot with no wrinkles in his tie. This is about as big as a softball. This is for when you have a uh, face that you want to compensate for with a wide collar. 